Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about what we need to do for self-care as a woman in our 40s. I am a usually a vlogger, fashion, we don't really do too many sit down videos, especially something that is as educational as self care. So in today's video, I want to go ahead and speak to our ladies that's of a mature age. I'm speaking to our 40 plus year olds. Okay, okay so as we age, it is important to prioritize our self-care we all know this we all want to go get our lashes done our nails done we want to get all the outer things done today i want to talk about our physical and our mental okay these are a couple of things well i'm going to say about 10 we're going to do 10. so first of all we need to prioritize our sleep is imperative for our mental and physical health we need at least seven to eight hours each night because without our seven to eight hours, we tend to get fatigued throughout the day. We don't do good cognitively as well as trying to maintain a good memory function. So we want to get enough sleep. When we sleep, our cells regenerate, our body is rejuvenized. We need that amount of hours of sleep each night. If you're finding that you are not getting enough sleep, it could be hormonal. I suffer from it. It can be other health issues. I recommend that you see a doc so that you can optimize your quality of life. Number two, we want to exercise regularly. This one I need to really, really get in to, okay? I just had a whole sciatica episode. I'm actually on steroids right now. Um, because I stopped being mobile. I was sitting around watching YouTube on, on the sofa for a couple of days and I just got stagnant and all of a sudden my back flared up and it's all because I wasn't exercising. I wasn't stretching. I was being stagnated. I know some of my girls on here have office jobs. Y'all might have to sit at a desk all day. Are you not in a position to be mobile as much take the stairs park far out get your steps in okay sis get your steps in if you can make some time to go to the gym pilates yoga get on youtube pull up some videos we need to get our, our exercise up okay so that's number two is making sure that we get our exercise up so when you get your lashes done park way out there in the parking lot and go get them done next is number three we have to Eat a healthy diet. For, for me, I try not to eat a lot of meat because a lot of meat has a lot of hormones that come with it. I personally live a pescatarian diet, or I try to. Um, sometimes I do fall off. <laughs> I wish a chicken was a fish. So yeah, so we need our whole grains, our lean proteins. We need to limit our processed foods. And for some reason, I don't know why we, when we get older, we want our cookie cakes and pies. Like, what is that? I would stay away from those things and just have them sparingly. Stay away from all those sugary drinks, Diet Cokes, all the things with uh, aspart add the aspartam in it. Stay away from that. I would suggest you to stay away from, first of all, their carcinogen, second of all, they're horrible for your memory. Now, I can't say that I don't have them at all, but it's very, very, very sparingly that I have them. So number four, stay hydrated. Y'all, it is so easy for us to go throughout our day without even realizing that the only water we have taken in is to take our morning vitamins, our brushing our teeth. I know how I'd struggle. I absolutely love my little Starbucks cup. It's cute aesthetically pleasing and I carry that around everywhere I go with my water. Staying hydrated helps with your skin, your organs in the morning. You, so you can infuse your water with cucumber, um, lemons, you know, the, some fruit. I don't do that. I drink room temperature water and I have never really been a I'm gonna infuse my water type of girl. But I might just start doing that because I'm telling y'all about it. 
I might do that too. So you drink eight, eight ounces of water a day. So to me, uh, that's what, four water bottles a day you want to drink? So four 16 ounce water bottles um, a day, uh, you should be good. You want five. So Number five is practice stress reduction. We want to practice mindfulness, meditation. We want to pray, um, spending time with God, going into your create a prayer closet, create a prayer nook, a prayer corner, get into the word. That right there is so much of a stress reliever. I would suggest that you pray, get in the word. Another thing you could do is write down everything that's in your head and get it out your head. If you have an important decision that you need to make, write down the pros and cons, get it out your head before you go to bed because that helps with sleep as well. And number six, take care of We have the internet, we see the girlies on here doing their skincare. We have our, first of all, this is this this is the holy grail for skincare, okay? First, hydration. You wanna get in enough water. Um, number two, cut the sweets out. Cut the sweets out. If you have acne prone skin or you've been having all these flare ups and stuff, stay away from chocolate is the enemy as well as um, cookie cakes and pies and candy. Stay away from the sugars, it's horrible for your skin. Number three is get you a good gentle face wash. They wanna sell us all these high priced um, face washes and all that stuff. And all of that is fine and dandy if you want the luxury brands and stuff like that. But when I tell you Cetaphil, CeraVe, I think that's CeraVe, those lines are inexpensive and they do wonders. You know, everybody swears by them. I'm telling you, they're good. I use Cetaphil myself, the gentle, the gentle moisturizer, the gentle moisturizer and um, cleanser. Those are so good, especially the moisturizer. It has an acinamide in it, and acinamide helps with like hyperpigmentation. It helps. It helps with hydration of your skin. Hyaluronic acid is a must-have in your skincare routine, especially at night. It's good to use twice a day, as well as a good vitamin C to keep your skin tone clear. I have hormonal hyperpigmentation in my face, so it's a little bit harder for me to maintain because I have to treat it from my hormonal, from a hormonal pr perspective as well as uh, external perspective. And for me, if you suffer from hyperpigmentation, I'm gonna link this skin peel that I found by the, I think it's The Ordinary, and it works so well. I've been seeing a big improvement in my skin texture, as well as the hyperpigmentation that is around my mouth. I've only been using it for, for about two weeks, and from the first day, I've seen the difference. I'm gonna leave that in the description box below if you wanna check it out. Number seven is staying connected with friends and family. That can be real hard when you have the day-to-day -day life with your own cell family. I understand that, but it's very important for you to make sure that you check on your friends and your family, your parents, your your siblings, cousins, and stuff like that that you're close to. Not to leave out the grandparents because some of us still have our grandparents. I am fortunate to have at least one of my grandparents still living. So I try to at least check in with her. Yeah, I need to get on that a little bit more. You um, may have friends that's not close to their family. Um, they can get lonely and maybe need someone to talk to and maybe their kids are older they might need you know that mental support sometimes and it's good to check up check in on your friends that are in kind of situations like that so we're going to go ahead on to a number where we're at number eight number eight is prioritize hobbies and activities i am guilty with this one because my hobby and, and my hobby right now is instagram TikTok, facebook youtube it's awful okay so that's one that i'm going to personally be working but painting reading you might like doing puzzles crochet crocheting knitting is that the same thing as crocheting i think it is bowling did i say that already child listen get your interest up it could be a book it can be like i said painting learning an instrument or something it's never too late to learn new things go take a class oh becoming a collector of something like if you want to get into collecting albums or start a new hobby just to keep you know from staying off, off the internet so number 
nine. Number nine is practicing gratitude. Every day I wake up, as soon as I open my eyes, I thank the Lord that he has woken me up for the day. And it just gives you a good start for the day. Each day, write something that you are grateful for, at least three things that you're grateful for. I have a bad habit of not doing that, but I do wake up with gratitude. So number 10, this is our last one, and this is very, very important, okay? Number 10 is stay on top of your health screenings. We're talking about mammograms, your well woman's exam, colonoscopies, all your, your shots that you need when you turn 50. If you had chicken pox before, it's suggested that you get a shingles shot or that shingles are very painful. I know as a child, I had chicken pox, but at 50, y'all need to get the shingles shot. If you're 45 plus, keep in mind when you turn 50, you need to take that shingles shot. 45, I wanna say that you can, you, you're you able to get, get in a colonoscopy if you are of a uh, darker descent like if you're black or um uh middle easterner if you have if you if you're darker complected in other words that's what they say it's imperative that we get those screenings make sure you tap your husbands and let them know they need to go too but we come to the end of today's video if you have made it to the end thank you thank you thank you if you're not subscribed yet please hit that that subscribe button and that post notification bell and you'll be notified every time i post a video again i do vlog fashion videos for tall girls and we're going to be doing our self-care be safe stay blessed and i'll see y'all on the next video bye y'all